Butler again. It's Cliff from Down Under. Going to take you through grinding the stylus stem spigot diameter on the little D-bit grinder um, to fit into the holes in the little steel balls that I've just been spark eroding. You might have seen that video. There's one there on my YouTube channel, Thread Express. Um, so I'm just going to grind that diameter down um, and uh, show you a little bit about using a D-bit grinder which is a cool little machine that you can pick up really reasonably these days um, and um, can do some uh, cylindrical grinding type work um, and um, very versatile little tool not just for grinding collets but for grinding diameters and small parts as well okay so just an overview so we've spark eroded the spigot holes in the little balls and uh, we are now going to measure those very carefully and then grind the uh, styli blank on the end to be a nice snug fit so it can be loctited on. I'll just take you through that process. This is the end result. So, whoa, so I'm getting ahead of myself here, but um, it's just convenient for filming. So I've ground a few there, but I'll, I'll now take you through the uh, grinding process. So to measure those little uh, steel balls, you can use um, drills. I've got them in steps of 0.1, but that's a little bit coarse. So I'm going to use my uh, pin gauge set, which you can pick up pretty reasonably. These are in 1,000 steps and really useful for a, a practical measurement of small holes. Of course, I've got to be deadly careful not to take any film accidentally of the IP of this Hallmark Impact Tolerant Touch Probe. We don't want to take ourselves too seriously in this life, so I won't worry too much about that. Okay, so let's grind the stylus or styli stem spigot diameter. So we have the blank cut to length and um, put it in the collet. So 3.17, set about the right amount of projection. We want the absolute minimum for rigidity. Set our rotary on zero. We're going to come in now, set our depth of cut to about five millimeters. Come in until the wheel contacts on that 3.17 diameter. Just adjust the depth of cut. Once we contact, we know we're 3.17, which is there. Taking note of the dial, we know we want to come down to about 2.22. So let's take off about 0.4 on the radius. That'll um, be slightly up on the finished size. We're just taking it fairly gently. We don't want to generate too much heat. And um, Pick the uh, part about 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Okay, swing out the way. Pop a mic on there and just see what we're actually getting. Okay, we're getting 2.4. We want to go to 2.22, which we've already found is a, about the right fit with our pin gauges. 2.4. That's 2.3. That's about it there. Let's that. Talking too much. That's not quite enough. I want a little bit more depth. This should be a pair. Multitasking is not my strong point. Okay, so we are 2.24, and that is a fit on the ball, because we know with our pin gauge that 2.24 will go in. But it's a little bit snug a fit. You can probably see that there. We don't want a snug fit because we're going to Loctite it on. 
So there's going to be room for the log type. Um, so let's just go down to that 2.22 or a little smaller. That was quite a tight fit at 2.24. So allowing a little bit of room for a film of log type. The hole in the ball is always hiding on the other side. Okay. You can see that there, I think. So that's uh, the uh, spigot diameter ground to a nice fit for the Loctite. And now we're going to grind the uh, taper coming back from there to give nice clearance in its application of use. Okay, we've ground the diameter to suit the spike eroded spigot in the ball, hole in the ball. And that fits on okay, can you see that? Don't drop the wall. Okay, now we're going to grind the relief angle coming back from that of two degrees. It's a bit sorted up, uh, gritted up. Okay, so we're going to have a two degree angle. We'll set that with this part of the angle here. And this rotary adjustment here. Swing it in. Now, of course, the longitudinal is going to be out. And we need more relief projection. So, loosen the collar. Push it forward, stick it out the absolute minimum because once you get beyond a certain length of projection you get vibration and chatter of the part and that really does damage it. Um, the vibration also dresses the wheel and gives a terrible surface finish. So we're right on the cusp of that at this length of project, project, projection. Now we're just going to grind in visually here at two degrees a side angle. Trying to avoid generating that chatter vibration which will cause a meltdown of surface finish until we get a good blend on the diameter. Now what you can do if you're very careful is to put your finger on the part and do a final cut. And what that does is acts like a fixed steady and stops the vibration on the final cut. And there we have the angle ground. Let's put the ball back on again. Not sure how clear that is. Let's try focusing in on it. There we have the end of the spigot ground.